Yeah, welcome back friends. We are going to continue with um, our topic of genetics and today we are going to continue with the evidence for the location of genetic material in the nucleus. Uh, ni evidence gani ambazo zinatuambia location ya genetic material iko katika nucleus. Kumbuka nikwambia kutoka mwanzoni kwamba hizi evidence za mwanzoni uh, zile tatu ni evidence ambazo most of teachers hazijui. Kwa evidence ambazo wengi wao wanazijua ni hizi evidence kuanzia namba 4. Number nine ni evidence from fertilization. Uh, fertilization. Kama unavyojua kwamba fertilization ni kile kitendo cha male pamoja na female gamete kuweza kufuse, kutengeneza zygote ambayo zygote baadaye ndo anaenda kuwa anaenda kuwa anaenda kuwa kiumbe sasa. So after meiotic division the haploid gamete au daughter cell they are produced. Unatengeneza haploid daughter cell. During fertilization the nuclei of a male gamete fuses with that of a female gamete. Zinazo fuse nini? Nuclei. So the nuclei of male gamete fuses with that of female gamete. Unaona? So the nuclei of a male gamete fuses with that of a, a female gamete. Unaona bwana? Hii neno fuse hapa lipo. So fuses with that of the, of the female gamete hili neno halipo after kapo nasema ni to form fuses with that of the female gamete to form a zygote this undergoes several physiological and morphological changes and finally developed into an individual organism with various characteristics that are derived from both parents unaona kwa hiyo kinachofuse pale ni nuclei sio cytoplasm ni nuclei Unaona kwa maana sperm kinachoingia kwenye ova ni nuclei only the nuclei since the newly produced individual appears similar to either female or male or both parent in many characteristics this proves that the heritable material located in the nuclei of gametes have passed the information from parents to offspring so actually this evidence tells us that um, it is the heritable material located in the nucleus of um, are these gametes which fuse which the one which carry the hereditary information number 5 is the evidence from nuclear division evidence from nuclear division nuclear division tunazo aina mbili tuna meiosis pamoja na mitosis but in this case it is evidence from meiosis tunazungumzia evidence ya nuclear division in terms of meiosis in a sexually reproducing organism the formation of gamete involve meiosis hasa kwenye meiosis kuna kwa kuna nini katika formation ya gamete kwenye meiosis kuna kwa kuna nini one of the significance of meiosis is to bring about genetic variation meiosis inapelekea kitu gani kitokee genetic variations however the variations are controlled by genetic or hereditary materials you see so variation they are controlled by the genetic or hereditary materials this imply that it is the manipulation of genetic material in the nucleus during meiosis which brings about variation ni ile manipulation manipulation is like a uh, una una change vitu yani kama vitu vilikuwa vina mpangilio fulani unavipanga kwa namna mbalimbali una change ile arrangement yake ili kuweza kupata a new arrangement so it is the manipulation of genetic material in the nucleus during meiosis which brings about variation hiyo ndio ambayo inapelekea variation itokee so meiosis brings about a variation for two reasons or for two processes there are two events or two processes which are occurring during meiosis which lead to variation the first is the crossing over hmm? crossing over and second is the random assortment of chromosomes unaona figure 4.7 above show these two processes this is Uh, the diagram which show these uh, two process uh, this is the crossing over and this is the random assortment of chromosome unaona uh, e crossing over inatokea katika meiosis 1 na random assortment of chromosome inatokea katika meiosis 2 now what does it mean labda kidogo to explain regarding the crossing over and the uh, random assortment of chromosome and why are these leading to different genetic variations unaona Some of you inaweza kana mmesoma hizi event katika reproduction na mmezielewa but some of you labda hujasoma reproduction regardless ulisoma au kusoma now i want to explain one event after another in order to uh, be clear with you now consider uh, these two homologous chromosome consider these two homologous 
uh, chromosome during meiosis. Now here, now we have these two homologous chromosome in a cell, and this cell want to undergo meiosis to form a gamete. Unaona, intaku undergo meiosis. So in, in, in meiosis one, one of the event which is uh, taking place is the formation of the chiasma, a, a chiasma, formation of a chiasma, and the crossing over. What is crossing over? Now, assume, assume kwamba huyu ni mzazi wa kiume. Lakini mzazi wa kiume na yeye alikuwa na wazazi wake. Unaelewa? Kwa mzazi wa kiume ana wazazi wake na yeye alikuwa nao. Katika wazazi wake kulikuwa kuna mzazi wa kike na wa kiume. Unaona? So let's say mzazi wa kiume manake ni father. Father. Lakini yu father pia alikuwa na wazazi wa, wa kike na wa kiume. So manake let's say this is eh hii ni gene kutoka kwa male yeye ni father na hii gene kutoka kwa female unaona kwa ni mzazi wa kiume inatengenezwa gamete kwake lakini na yeye pia alikuwa na mama yake na baba yake kwa hii ni gene kutoka kwa baba wa mzazi wa kiume hii ni gene kutoka kwa baba wa mzazi wa kiume na hii ni gene kutoka kwa mama wa mzazi wa kiume unaona sasa ndio maana huyu mzazi atatengeneza gamete ambayo itamzaa mtoto ambaye atatofautiana na yeye alivyo. Kwa nini kwa sababu hii gamet itachanganya zile characteristics. Itachanganya na kwa female nako itachanganya. Itakavyochanganya atakuja kupata two homologous chromosome. Kwa what will happen ni kwamba huyu wa male ata overlap na yule wa female unaona? Huyu wa male ame overlap na yule wa female namna ile pale. Kwa yule chromosome ame overlap na yule pale. Kitakachotokea ni kwamba kuna kipande cha huyu wa female atenda kwa male na kuna kipande cha male kitaenda kwa female unaona kipande kile cha brown huko kimehamia huko na kipande cha huko kimehamia huko hii ndio inaitwa nini crossing over kwa hiyo crossing over ni kwamba ilitokea hapa hii process inaitwa synapsis kama umeisoma katika reproduction inaitwa synapsis oka baada ya synapsis hizo chromosomes zinafanya zina break zina exchange the ancient material now you can observe the green color imekuja huko na huko brown color imekuja huko unaona Brown kana kuja huko green inaenda vile. Kwa hiyo zina exchange genetic material pale. Hii inapelekea a genetic variation. Hiyo ndio inaitwa nini crossing over. Lakini namba mbili kuna nini? Independent assortment of chromosomes. Independent assortment of chromosomes ni nini? Hebu uone hapa. Hii cell ina chromosome ngapi? 4. Na hii cell ina chromosome nne. Sasa uh, during uh, metaphase 1, unaona metaphase 1 tunaweza kwa tuna seli ya aina hii hapa unaona eh, hizi hapa zimekuja chromosome mbili za blue na pale mbili nyekundu ila hapa imekuja blue na nyekundu na pale imekuja nini nyekundu na blue unaona sasa uh, there are four different combination of these gametes si unaweza kuona kwamba ni seli yule pale tunayeanza naye pale na pale wanafanana lakini unaweza kupata gamete ambao wako hivi Unaweza kupata gamete ambao wako hivi, unaweza kupata gamete walioko hivi, unaweza kupata gamete walioko hivi. Four different combination. Hii ndo naita independent assortment of nini? Of chromosome. Na hii inatokea kwenye meiosis 2. Manake nini? Manake ni kwamba unaona kwa mfano hapa, hizi imekuja za blue na hizi imekuja nyekundu. Hasa zikishakuja za blue hivi, manake hizi eh, chromosome zita assort. Zitakapo assort manake huku zitakuja mbili na huku zitakuja mbili. Ha lakini hapa huku zimekuja e, nyekundu na, na nyekundu na blue na huku nyekundu na blue. Kwa kuna kwa kuna independent assortment of chromosome katika meiosis 2 hapo. Yaani maana yake hizi chromosome zinajipanga zenyewe kwenda katika gamete. Na tunakuwa tuna e, four different combination of these e, gametes katika hapo independent assortment of nini of chromosome. Kwa hiyo ni event ya pili ambayo inapelekea meiosis iperekee variation Haya hiyo ni evidence number 5. Evidence number 6 is the universal occurrence of nucleus in most cell at some stages of their life cycle. Ilionyesha kwamba seli zote katika stage fulani za life cycle zinakuwa zina nucleus. Yaani kwa mfano red blood cell ikiwa matured inakuwa ina nucleus lakini katika stage fulani ya life cycle yake inakuwa ina nucleus. So the universal occurrence of nucleus in most cell at some stages of their life cycle of the cell suggests that it has essential roles one of which is to control heredity unaona kwa hiyo hizi ni evidence tatu ambazo zimezoeleka 
na wakati kimiliki jacho tutaangalia the location of the material in the nucleus kwamba tumeshaona kwenye cell location of the material in the cell kwenye cell Heretal materials zinakuwa ziko wapi katika zinakuwa ziko katika nucleus katika cell lakini je kwenye nucleus mle ndani sana ndani ya nucleus heretal materials zinakuwa ziko wapi in the coming session we will discuss about that so don't forget to comment don't forget to share this session and baada ya hapo tell me anything any challenge you are facing utaniambia after this session thank you and later we should nice studies